Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. I, by the way, I'm recording three episodes in a row like I did last time because I want to have three episodes available and I'm going to try and get them all up next week even though next week I'm not at home, I'll be on holiday, I'll be camping in the Peak District which is a district full of peaks which in this country just means hills but in other countries it tends to mean things slightly more grandiose like mountains but we don't have those things in this country well we have a couple of those things in this country but they don't really count they're not like Everest they're like Snowdonia in fact they basically are Snowdonia except I'm not going to Snowdonia that's in Wales so I, I won't be around I'm going to try and render the episodes in time to have them uh, okay we should use a shotgun uh, available to you um, most likely I will be Nice. I'll be concentrating on zooming in and aiming at screaming skulls. Um, most likely I'll have some opportunity to get to a computer, i.e. get my computer on the internet, but I don't know whether I'll be able to finish the rendering here because I'll have to remote desktop in and do all that malarkey. So I'm going to try and do as many as I can straight away, but it does take a while. Try and maybe to prepare them first. And I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I won't be around. I won't necessarily be able to uh, respond to any comments. Thank you for all the comments so far. By the way, I'm learning a lot about the Doom law. And I mean, look, <laughs> I don't care about armor. Yeah, it has no effect on me. Um, uh, yeah, I'm learning a lot about Doom law. I'm learning a lot about the way the old game was made, actually, which is pretty cool. I want to go up here because there's a way up here, but it's not telling me to go up here. So I'm going to go up here. There's one dude. Cool. I have yet to find all of the levers, and I'm aware of this. Uh, excuse me? Have we not been that way? We have been that way. Where is that? Is that not where I just was? Where the cotton picking minute there, boy? So, Deputy Dog. I hope everyone is aware of Deputy Dog because it just exists. I mean, I don't really know why it's hugely ne necessary. Let's tank that. Don't worry about it. Uh, genuinely did not see either of those coming, but okay. Um, no real reason why you should have seen Deputy Dog. I'm not going to force you to watch it. It's a kid's show. It's not that great. It's kind of okay. It was okay when I was a kid because I was a kid. You know, what do you want from kid's shows, I guess? So we'll go up here. That is 20 HP. <laughs> Brilliant. So the thing that I saw is right behind me. This airlock is open and wasn't before. Demonic presence. Mm -hmm. Oh. More armor. Haven't actually been here yet. That would make sense. Been there? Yes. We couldn't get through here. That's fine. HP would be nice. Well, let's see what this is. No, ne no need for a. Uh... I have to move for three. Okay. No, no more mini episodes where we do these things. I think that was just me finishing the day on a high note. I suppose. So I hope that you get to see these during the week when I'm not around. Just have to uh, keep going, I guess. I appreciate that, like Old Doom, there is no um, reloading necessary. Hello. HP helps. Thank you. You have to make sure you get these kills in quick because, of course, um, <laughs> they're shooting you. You want to be able to dodge. Don't you dare kill me. That's more like it. Cool. Move faster for a short time. After. I don't think I need that, but it's nice to have done the challenge. First try. Uh trick there is to keep killing things. I mean, I do use these weapons quite a lot. I've got kind of used to them. Uh, I was trying to zoom in a lot, by the way, in case you were wondering, which is why it kept clicking. You, you can't. You get given the stock 
rifle there, not the main one. Still got low health, so no reward for that nonsense. Blood fueled one. Cycle this air look. Kind of expected to hear the hiss of air, but okay. It's just a very complicated mechanical noise going on. Any more screaming skulls gonna try and kill me? I do see chainsaw ammo, but we are full. It's six now! How did I do that? I am going down there. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's actually. You did that on purpose, you mother trucker. What's in these? I don't know. Grenades? That, uh, that inception sound is apparently just this tube being about to open. Alright, hopefully we can get a glory kill in nice and quick. Nothing in here. So we can recover some HP. I've just realised I'm hungry and haven't eaten for a while. Which is why I'm hungry. These things are connected, it's not rocket surgery. Okay, let's get out of here. I mean, the requirement for HP is only really related to the presence of enemies, so without the enemies I don't really care about HP. Oh look, it's a Half-Life area. I'm gonna explore a bit. He just dropped a shitload of HP, I didn't even have to glory kill him. What a, what a lovely man. I did find some. So there's that. Probably used the shotgun because there was ammo for it, basically. I assume this is a Half-Life area anyway. Basically, I've turned on two fans. Oh, I turned that one off. Turn it back on again? I don't know. A little bit confused. Map will tell me. Give me. There we go. Uh, I see secrets. Hmm. Ba 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 da ba 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 Looks like ventilation fan 2 we have to go down into, but ventilation fan 1 we can jump up into and fly away. Fly away, fly away. So this is on. So if we jump up into here, oh, it's not going to happen. If we jump into here, we... these fans are outrageously strong. If I double jump in the air there, I get way more control because of my thingamajig. This is the correct way to go, however. Which means that what we should be doing is not. However, I'm going to, because there's this. Which is a secret. Okay, well, not a secret. We're going to go in here, because this one's switched off. And it doesn't say to go this way, so I am going to go this way. What have we got in here? Ah, hello. Right. Can we just upgrade one? That's actually really pesky. I don't can I don't really want these. Um I guess remote destination doesn't really, you know, tickle my fancy all that much. So if we just change to this. At least we get something about it. Fitted with the guidance system, manufacture. This activates that guidance system. <laughs> Great. I mean, why not just always activate it? These are the questions we must ask. I get that this game is super arcadey. I'm, I'm okay with it, but come on. The flimsy attempts at justifying the existence of these things. Just say, look, it magically sticks guidance onto them as you fire them. Yeah, I, I'm going to believe it. I'm probably going to believe it more than that they have existing <laughs> existing guidance systems that are for some reason not actually working because we turned them off. Oh, we could have gone up that one as well. But the trick was to turn it off. I've actually got more HP simply as a result of being here. A max of those things. This is a secret. I just walked in. And I got a weapon upgrade point for finding a secret. And a Praetor token. Okay, let's have let's go through this in, in order. We have three of these, which allows us to upgrade our rocket. Oh, 
maybe we buy this. Let's buy this. Then we will see what happens. We've also got this, which is brand new. Lock on faster. Lock on faster in the other respect. Uh, and then we've got this, which I don't care about. And we've got this, which tells about monsters. And Cyber Mancubus. I forgot about this. The Mancubus strain of demon has long been subject to fascination. Looks like they were made. <laughs> Someone attached armor to the bloody things, and now look where we are. Okay, there's a couple more. I did miss one on the way around quite a while ago, but nobody really cares. I'm still looking for the opportunity to chainsaw a Baron of Hell. It's a good thing I know all about the Cyber Mancubus. That guy was right behind me. And he just stuck a thing in me and it hurt. Damn. Dude. Bro. So we're not going to really get the <laughs> weapon upgrade bonus for the explodey, extra explodey rockets because I'm kind of not going to do it. Previous episode, FYI, I am aware was about 35 minutes long. Not really, I don't care. Let's have some dexterity. Switch weapons faster, grab them, swatch weapon mods. I'm not going to do any of these. <laughs> I'm really not. Um, the one thing I think that we might want is further, like, recharging the equipment. So we'll save up for it. Um, let's use a gauss cannon temporarily. That is a suitable time. Then we will fire this into here. Oh no, you're not there. In that case, I will use this. Get rid of you. Wow, okay. Wow. Okay. I'm okay with it. Where's that Mancubus? This is a Mancubus arena and a half. Shoot me in the tummy. Look. First you do that. Then you do this. Yeah, that works. Chain stun. Kill a stunned enemy? Forgot about that. Lockdown disengage. What is that noise then? I mean, not killing them with headshots is also a bit silly because it's the most efficient way and they stumble around being noobs. So why not, I guess? Also, so loud. Shush. Station locked. Nothing interesting in here. What is this? Go on in. Fire. Dare you. Is this where the BFG is going to be? Oh, it might be where the BFG is going to be. You have to properly explore this area, okay? Is that in there in the middle? Is that it there in the middle? Am I seeing a BFG? I might be. Ooh. Almost like they've designed it so you literally cannot miss it. They genuinely could not have made it more obvious. Make it sure to squish these like this because it just fills up our health a little bit more. What does this say? Test fire. Come on. That works. Let's go and get one. This bastard of advanced thoughts attracts the brightest minds in the scientific community and is considered humanity's brain trust. Oh yeah. So yeah, thanks. That's so good. Not really giving us any information. I did really appreciate the um Ooh, let me in. Was it could have done that without the keycard all along? Oh, well, there's a security room which might have some security keys in it. The, uh, the 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 pulse, the Gauss cannon is significantly reduced in effect, by the way. Uh, in 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 charge time, so I'm reasonably sure we're going to be able to get something out of it. 
just let me dither around for ages and don't give me a clue as to where to go, why don't you? There's HP, there's information. More info. Let's go let's just read some things. There is a lot to be said about reading. Is it in here? Yes. Let's go and do that. This might tell us about the BFG that we have yet to get. Here it is. Yeah, BFG 9000. Italian news out for weapon. We have faith and dedication. Strive for understanding beyond tradition. Belief. So, don't know, excuse me, don't know why it's talking about belief, but I suspect that is something to do with their view on Argent energy. Let's have a look, see if we can figure out where that chibi thing is. Also, I missed that. Well, unless we haven't found that yet, that would also make sense. Guessing it's in that room, okay. Armour that I've somehow missed all this time. Don't even know if that was all of it, not entirely sure I'm intending to go back and find out. Was there information in here? No, it's in there. So up there. Can we get in? Yes. Good. Found it. Anything else in here? No. So this is the place. Cool. That is our... Another weapon upgrade point. Perfect. Also, pinky model, pink guy. Wonder where the cacodemon is. Is as advertised, you know. The uh, patriot guy. That was fast. Good grief, that was fast. More info on the BFG. Cool. Theatre design. First of all, I don't know the costume is going But for working design, prototype weapons have since been made. Prototype for production is never tested. Deadly radiation spike. Slight different energy patterns. Salty argent spheres and dead one and forms a laser that cuts from anything in its path. Boils them alive. Pretty cool. That sounds similar to the way the Quake 2 BFG worked, which I think was a pretty good BFG all told. So that um that was in there. I don't even know if I could have got in there with myself. So, where are we going now? We have to access the Lazarus elevator. Which is somewhere else. I mean, this is security. I feel like this security room has to have something to do with the situation that we find ourselves in, i.e. But where, where's this AI to just give me security clearance, yeah? Let me have the BFG, give me security clearance. Stop pissing around. We know what we're here for. Look, there it is. Let me in. This? Yeah, it looks pretty... That's terrifying. It, lo it looks... You, have you got it? You've got it. This joker here. Of <laughs> course, upper torso acquired. Yellow dude, let me in. That was pretty obvious, actually. It's one of those things, though, isn't it? <laughs> That's not the first time we've used someone else's body part to allow us in. Oh, he's done it! Oh. Sounds like GLaDOS. Hearing this? See how I'm on top of it because it's going to expel it. Come on then. No. Not a fan of this. Oh, I figured it out. I'm a genius. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was having a look around to see if there's somewhere to land. There might be. So I'm going to have another look at that. 19 minutes of episode. This is going to be the... Well, once we figure this out, that's probably going to be the end of the episode and the end of the week. Next week, I'm not going to be recording anything. So hopefully this is uh, sufficient. But right, let's have another look out here. So when this comes down... So I need to find a way of... Do 
have a look at what we're doing here. Alright, so we have to be up here. Maybe then you're supposed to jump down there again? I hadn't actually noticed that... Um, right, so this happens. So let's have a look. Can we get over there? Yes. This security system has a huge hole in it. And it's extremely obvious to anybody who's ever designed a security system. I've just figured it out, and I'm not even a security system designer, you yeah? I just stand here for a while? Or is that going to kill me? How do I get into it? Is there another thing to do? There's that one, that one, and that one. I see no way of actually getting in. This is just going up and down. Which means we have to figure it out in order to leave. And it's not going to stop. So we have to try and figure out a way of disarming this. Doesn't involve shooting the lasers, apparently, although, you know, fixing things with guns is the American dream. All of this is the American dream. Right, so it's not that. Let's just let this thing go up and down a little bit more. Um, so this is flying. This is floating. Can't stop it from floating. Can't get down there. That will kill us. Don't know where to stand other than where we are standing. I don't want to ride that up there because that seems silly. Okay, are you? Is anyone else seeing something? Let's have another look around this. I mean, I'm wondering if this is the button we can press that I haven't seen yet. Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. That basically never stops. I'm gonna guess. Why didn't you bring the guy in with you? The dead guy. Obviously we have to stay here. This is never ending. Is there something we can do to get down there without dying? Are those those they do not appear to have much. Another thing we can check is whether when we're underneath this it has a, a weak spot that we otherwise can't see. Yeah, it does. You can't, I see. When it's down here, you can't. It's closed, so I couldn't see it down here. So we need to jump in there, take out the lasers. I'm glad that didn't take me so long that the episode ended in nothing over ten minutes. That's <laughs> I was figuring it out because that has happened before. Shit, isn't it? Oh, that was enough. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm sure. We've got it. We've got the BFG. Back of the net is in the game. We're all going to die. Apparently the uh, laser's turned off. How do we switch to this? We've learned about it. Some tea. We've learned about it. Weapons. BFG 9000. We're correctly charged ionizer compressed. Daily place of one can release in a control manner at a velocity and potential energy quota far exceeding conventional weapons. Weaponization of argent energy. Plasma rifle. Yes, you're okay. So I'm guessing that, so the plasma rifle obviously uses argent energy, so this is using it has actually three three en three shots. It has three of its own shots. So somehow we are at some point gonna find the FG stuff. Now the question is, are they immediately gonna give us something to test it on? Because that is a very doom-like thing to do. Yes. <laughs> now here's the only problem I have with that. It went too fast. Show me slower. What is this? Everyone has gone through there. Into the Lazarus elevator, which is where we wanted to be. Are you telling me I had to figure that out? That was the only way. Like, you can't get through this without the BFG. 
Because I'm going to be sad if everyone gets given the BFG without fail. Because I didn't find the BFG the second time I played Doom 3, even though I found it the first time I played Doom 3. So that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Let's do this again. <laughs> yeah, that's like the Quake 2 one, which I'm a fan of. So it may pierce through enemies, but it doesn't pierce through... Uh, I tried to do a dodge like in U2. It didn't work. Oh, you are quite frazzled as a result of that. That was fast. So fast I couldn't see it, but it still felt pretty nice. Uh, 25 minutes. Nothing's happening. There is a... There's a thing about to happen at the start of the next episode, so I will leave you here for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to tell your friends because I need more people to like me. And to give a like if you like the video, give a subscription if you like the channel, which you do. And, of course, get, leave a comment if you have a comment to leave. And, of course, go and check out James's videos and hopefully, if Ed has any, Ed's videos too. Uh, and until next time and probably in about a week or so, I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. But that is it for this one. Thank you for watching. And I'll see ya.